In the name of the dogma of inclusion, biological males all across America are dominating female competitions and smashing records set by teenage girls and adult women. In tonight's in-depth report, Church Militant's Aidan O'Connor takes a closer look at a rally of fed up women. Different design, different category. Young and old female athletes are telling the National Collegiate Athletic Association, or NCAA, to stop peddling woke gender-confused policies. As thousands attended the NCAA's 2023 convention last week in San Antonio, crowds gathered to protest the organization's gender ideology. On Thursday, outside the convention center, a coalition of women's advocacy groups held a rally titled Tell the NCAA to Stop Discriminating Against Female Athletes. One of the groups, Concerned Women for America, even set up a website called Our Bodies, Our Sports and garnered thousands of signatures to demand a change in policy. This after the NCAA has allowed countless so-called transgender athletes, biological males, to compete using their physical advantage to crush the female competition. One of the main speakers, Riley Gaines, lost to the infamous gender-confused swimmer William Thomas. Gaines is one of many female athletes throughout America who have failed to win, lost a place on the podium, or missed scholarship opportunities due to male athletes claiming to be female. We're female, so we wouldn't run on any other team but the female team. One speaker revealed traumatic instances of men being allowed in women's locker rooms. Many swimmers avoided locker rooms entirely for the duration of the season. Among the speakers were world champions and top-tier female athletes who, despite their success, all agreed on the natural and undeniable physical advantage men have over women. Michael Cherry is closing in and just speeding past just in Alliance Defending Freedom senior counsel Christiana Kiefer issued a statement on Thursday in support of the women's sports advocates. She wrote, The NCAA's regressive policies ignore biological reality and harm women. We are calling on the NCAA to stop discriminating against female athletes and establish policies to protect women's sports. This after she announced a victory for women's sports in West Virginia just days before the rally. A federal court in West Virginia upheld the state's Save Women's Sports Act. This win is a great win for reality. The court affirmed that truth matters. While many Americans turn a blind eye to gender-confused leftists, bringing the ideology into sports is apparently a bridge too far. Aidan O'Connor, Church Militant, Evening News, Detroit. She's a beautiful woman. Alliance Defending Freedom is representing multiple female athletes in lawsuits fighting harmful gender ideology in sports.